much. And uh, I guess the question is, why are so many senators here today? And it's because people are seeing their bills pile up. Everybody in this room can relate to that. It's the number one issue that I hear about as I travel Arkansas and travel throughout the country. As ranking member on the Ag Committee, I see the President's plan squeezing Ag communities, the Ag community in the sense of our foresters, our farmers, our ranchers, all of those individuals uh, as, their, as their operations require more and more capital, thus attacking rural America. I don't have the big chart, but I've got a little one that I think that tells a lot. And on it, you can see that fuel and oil has gone up 35 percent, fertilizer 34 percent, livestock and poultry purchases 24 percent, feed 21 percent. The list goes on and on. We've got a fire that's raging, burning through Americans' paychecks and their budgets. Let's stop pretending that pouring gas on it is the only option which is what the administration and my colleagues on the other side of the aisle keep proposing. Instead, we should work together to come up with a plan, and you've heard several proposals today as we've talked about this, to actually get this under control so we can help our Kansans and the people of America recover. 